Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Today's battle is on the Mountain Pass map, and we've got Mage from PvP Plan. It's in the Contra Caro 1, or otherwise known as the CC1, um, Tier 9 Italian TD. Leads to the Minotauro. It's got a four shot auto loading gun. Um, it is an auto loader, not an auto reloader like some of the Italian medium tanks, so you have to use the whole clip before it reloads. And let's have a quick look at the gun 127mm, it's an unusual um, calibre, but 490 average damage and 250 pen for the standard round, and the heat round does 325 pen, so plenty enough to compete in tier 10 battles and that's exactly what they're in tier 9 to tier 10 game. Now it does have a bit of a long gap in the cycle between shells um, but the reload of the whole clip is by compensation is um, relatively short so it's um, fairly useful TD at its tier and it does have some of the um, armor capabilities that the Minotauro has, so not completely foolproof, but um, can bounce a few rounds, so we'll see how this goes for Mage. Now, normally you get some targets being spotted crossing, um, maybe you got held up, but uh, it's a bit hard to tell, we'll see what happens, there's a Conqueror going down the um, one line there, will he find anything? Probably the C-63 that was spotted. Um, with turbo mode, they're some of the fastest medium tanks in the game, so they would have got off uh, without being spotted, but there you go, the name XM 451 I don't know how that one didn't get spotted, it's possibly a mage got held up um, getting to this area. Anyway, uh, not being productive, there's no point hanging around, that's really an area of the early spots, so it's going to head for the bridge here, and normally you get a few tanks defending the bridge. I've got their Leopard 1 is pushed right up to keep them at bay, so that will allow Mage and this uh, Object 777 to go a bit further, and I, didn't, I think he didn't expect the Object 777 to um, uh, spot, uh, to stop at that point, and the 777 going, this is 4 back, which is, um, yeah, well, you don't have too many commands to use, but he's probably saying, hey, don't go up my backside, pick up someone else's. Anyway, so Mage pushes forward, uh, I guess the 777 wanted to blind fire that bush there, uh, that area there, but nothing's being spotted there, although the tortoise has come around the corner and does put a shot into him, and he also takes a hit on the side from an E50. So, a bit of danger crossing there. But uh, now he can line up these tanks here, and he's got his heat rounds loaded, so... Um, going to try and get as much damage out of this as possible. Yeah, good thing about the tortoise for from Major's perspective, he's on the wrong side, so you can go after the commander's hatch. Although it doesn't stop him being penetrated there. I noticed the um, tortoise did go through him, but it did bounce the FV4005. Um, so looks like the FV4005 was firing AP rounds just then, but they have to pin to do any damage whatsoever, or is the heat or the and the HE rounds can do splash damage, so you obviously missed an opportunity there, thinking you could one shot. And sure, if you can penetrate with an AP round and FV4005, then go for it. But um, now he's got an IS-32. And no problem going through there with a the heat round. Then there's the FV4005, and this time he switched to HE round, so he does do some damage. Now he's taken match down to 572. And he's still got enough to operate, doesn't want to take another hit from the FV4005, but um, there he's taken out the R3 too. So all of a sudden he's got nearly 2.5k of damage. Now just while he's on the reload, he's got the object 777 has moved up and keeping the uh, tortoise at bay so far. And the Leopard 1 has come back to uh, offer some support. He works the tortoise down a little bit. 
Mage decides to just turn around and just see whether I think they've sort of given up the ice road, whether the enemy's going to push there. And while that's happened, the tortoise has been taken out, which is a good sign. And nothing coming down the ice road, but he has noticed a um, Batchat 25T tier 10 French medium. And he's to switch back to standard rounds as well. This is not going to require premium rounds here. Puts a nice shot into the Batchat. And you see the load time between shells is actually quite long. It's like five seconds or so. Puts another shot into the Batchat. Now the Batchat has to back up quite a way here, which is going to be unfortunate for him because the gun elevation of the Batchat is pretty weak. Puts a shot in, leaves him on seven hit points. He bounces the incoming round and he'll bounce another round before he comes back and now he's got him lined up and that's the end of the bat chat so that's a tier 10 tucked under his belt and that's given the mage a second kill but uh, now the game is still a fairly evenly balanced in terms of hit points they're two tanks up but they've got about the same number of hit points available to them Mage again, just carefully checking to see whether the Super Conqueror is pushing up or the Egg Tiger even, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Looks like they've um, gone back to base potentially because uh, no one is pushing down that side from Mage's team. Alright, so we know there's still a Charfature 4 and FE 4005 up there, and in fact, FE 4005 takes out the Leopard 1. No problem going through the turret of the Leopard 1. And Mage can now use the unfortunate Leopard as a bit of a shield. And he's got a... That's the Super Conqueror. It was on the ice road. He goes through the Commander's Hatch on top there. So it's just a bit, bit careful in this spot. Now he's getting, taking some HE rounds from the FE4005. The faster they can get rid of that tank, the better. There's CE50 crossing that hit him early and he manages unfortunately just to hit the tracks without even breaking the tracks. But uh, there's the uh, E50 running away, lines him up and gets the kill. So that brings him to 4.5k. Now it's turning into a very nice game for Mage. But uh, again, just being careful here. There's no point going out in front of the FB, who's still around. There he is, just appeared again. But uh, he has got the advantage of the Leopard PTA pushing around. And though they're taking hits, they're probably going to get rid of that FE fairly quickly. So, time to deal with this Char for Tour 4. So, Mage puts a nice shot into him, but he's still got plenty of hit points. And he gets rid of the, um, well, in fact, the CS-63 gets rid of the 777. Ricochets off the Char for Tour 4. Luckily, the Char's round also bounced. And he lines him up again, just as the Char for Tour fires. The Char for Tour could have killed him at the same time, but that bounced, but he got the kill. So that was pretty fortunate. And that's given Mage 5.6, so heading towards 6k. And he's bounced 3100. Now, of course, 1100 that was from unfortunate choice of rounds by the FE4005. But there's still the Yag Tiger, two Arties, and the C63, who's clearly gone up the hill here. And that's the only real defensive point there. The, the artillery there is not going to survive. Or, well, in fact, he's just jumped off the edge, so as Arties tend to do. And now there's a whole bunch of tanks coming up, but they've just, he's just realised there's a Yag Tiger at the back, and he fires just as the pattern rolls back, <laughs> gets in his way. Luckily, there's no team kill in the game anymore, he would have been in trouble. Put some tracking damage into the Yag Tiger, but he keeps moving after using a repair kit. And I'm not sure if he's given up or not, but um, Mage goes through him one more time, leaves him on 28 hit points. That's got his 6k. And he just pulls back to avoid becoming a casualty. In fact, the Artie takes him out. 
and it's just the C63 left, and he goes down. So that's the end of the game, uh, all over in, in a sudden, and the, and the enemy's just collapsed. Well, it was a very handy game there from Mage. Um, 6k of damage and another 500 of assisted damage there, and he blocked 3.1k of damage. That's given him the Steel Wall award, but he hasn't picked up the um, High Caliber award, so let's have a look at that. Ah, uh, now, and, uh, that's probably because he shot at the Jagdtiger and the um, pattern got in the way, so it's counted as sort of team damage, which will invalidate the High Caliber award. Anyway, he's picked up the Ace Tanker Mastery badge, so that's compensation. <laughs> There you go, 1508, base experience uh, well above the rest of the team, and in terms of damage, um, yeah, no one even got 3k, so more than twice the damage of anyone else on his team, and the highest damage on the enemy team was 3.4, which was the C63, so he'd be a bit disappointed uh, being top damage in his team. So, great game there from Mage, definitely helped his team carry that game. Let's see, 20 shots fired, 19 hits, so great shooting accuracy, 14 penetrations, and uh, that's given his damage total. He had uh, mission payouts there as well, and that's helped make a small profit at tier 9, which is always handy, 24k. Um, so thanks very much, Major, for the content. Hopefully you like the video as well. If you do, you're watching this and you appreciate it or you've learned something, please give it a like. It helps the um, video get uh, more visibility across multiple um, people and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already it's something you can consider doing. Let more content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.